it's very easy in our attempt to become good horseshoers to concentrate so much on the horseshoeing that we don't look at the whole picture. You have to realize where you're at, you have to realize who's there, you have to realize um, the horse has his own mind and a set of uh, muscles and bones and stuff that can be very dangerous to you. So um, whenever you drive into a place, one of the first things I'll do is I'll evaluate where I want to shoot. I'll evaluate all the things around it, the, the dog, the trash can, the, the piece of tin that's coming off the barn that the horse could get cut on, and uh, be, be aware of those so that they don't cause me a problem. You know, that can be, that can be very difficult, but uh, if you have superior knowledge, if your knowledge of anatomy, your knowledge of shoeing, your ability to convey um, your knowledge to the customer, it puts you in a, in a position that, that um, scientifically, or, or not even scientifically, but it puts you in a skilled position which gives you a shot at winning. Um, I never do anything to a horse that I can't live with. So if it comes down to, uh, if a customer wants me to do something that I don't agree with, if it won't do harm to the horse and it will maintain a good relationship, I will often do it. If he wants me to do something to a horse that I, I feel will cause harm, then they need to find another farrier.